What's up, YouTube? This is Hassan Jabaz from Sacred Life Connections Health and Wellness. Going to come to you today from beautiful Hawaii. Very nice weather. Hope you're being safe with the COVID, taking all the all the uh, recommended precautions. But we want to talk to you today. There's a little video on leaky gut. We're going to go through what is leaky gut, how you can avoid leaky gut. And some of the cures for leaky gut. First of all, let's define leaky gut. Leaky gut is all, which is also known as intestinal probability. Leaky gut occurs when the small intestine gets damaged. We have damage in your small intestine. That's what we call leaky gut. One of the side effects of having leaky gut is that a damaged intestine causes nutrients to leave your body. So it causes nutrient deficiency. So that's one of the side effects of having leaky gut, is nu nutrient deficiency. One of the major signs of leaky gut is constipation, chronic constipation. The difference between constipation and chronic constipation. Chronic constipation means that you are constipated most of the time. A normal bowel movement, a normal cycle of bowel movement is once a day. You should use the bathroom at least once per day. And if you have time to read a book while you are in the bathroom, then you may have leaky gut. Because your bowel movement should be natural. Shouldn't take very long to, to use the bathroom. Now, leaky gut affects the whole body. So leaky gut is something you should take very serious. Like I said, if you're not using the bathroom regularly, you should take that serious. You should go see a health professional. We want to look at five steps. When it comes to dealing with leaky gut, first thing when you go to a health professional, or go to a health coach, go to a nutritionist, go to a a, a, a doctor, they're going to go through five things to determine or, or try to deal with your leaky gut. There are five steps, five main steps. First step is to determine what type of leaky gut do you have, or there are, there are several types of leaky gut. So, they will give you a questionnaire, have you answer that questionnaire, and from you, where you answer that questionnaire, they can determine what type of leaky gut that you have. And then, the second thing, they will begin to remove the information. Third thing, nourish the gut lining with nutrients. Fourth thing, treat specific organs with supplements. Number five, rebalance the microbes and the probiotics. This last, this last thing is very important because one of the key ways you can avoid leaky gut is to make sure you have the proper probiotics. And you can get probiotics from your grocery store. Now, let's recap. First thing, one of the major signs of leaky gut is chronic constipation. Also, burping is also a sign. Now, constant burping. Not just burping at once in a while, but constant burping. Leaky gut, as we said, causes nutrient deficiency. And le leaky gut occurs when your small intestine has damage. So damage to the small intestine causes leaky gut. Now, what are the triggers of leaky gut? What causes le leaky gut? There are six major things that can cause leaky gut. 
eating GMOs or gen genetically modified or organ or or or, 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 or orgasms. I'm sorry, or organs, organisms, organisms. Genetically modified food can cause you to have leaky gut. Antibiotics can cause you to have leaky gut. And almost everybody has had antibiotics at least once in their life. If you went to a doctor, you've had you've been given antibiotic to cure some disease or some illness. Number three, gluten. Gluten is another major cause of leaky gut. Number four, processed sugar. You should avoid processed sugar at all costs if possible. Try to use natural honey, natural raw honey, use some other sweetener, but try to avoid, stay away from processed sugar. Number five, dairy. Try to avoid dairy unless it's from grass-fed cows. Or it has been processed, filtered. Try to avoid it unless that has occurred. Now the fifth thing, I'm sorry, the sixth thing that causes leaky gut is something that we all have, that, that's food sensitivities. Most of us are sensitive to certain foods, so we have an allergy to certain foods, and that could cause leaky gut. Now, let's look at some foods that will heal leaky gut. One of the first things that will heal leaky gut is bone broth. And you can get bone broth from your local grocery store, you get chicken broth and get beef broth, but bone broth is good to help you with leaky gut. It'll help cure leaky gut and it can help you avoid leaky gut. Another item that can help is coconut oil. Coconut oil also is a good fat. Sauerkraut is another thing that can help with leaky gut. Ghost milk kefir. And you can get kefir at your local grocery store. Kefir is good for uh, kefir is good for leaky gut. You can get strawberry kefir. You can get different flavors in your in your kefir, blueberry, etc. And that leads us to the next point. Blueberries by themselves are good for leaky gut. As well as squash. Now. Now look at some of the supplements that you can get for, for leaky gut. Once you've been not diagnosed or you suspect that you have leaky gut, you want to eat some foods that will help heal leaky gut. We just named those foods. Now we want to look at some of the supplements. Probiotics. With probiotics, which is, which is good bacteria. The body needs bacteria, but it needs good bacteria. So you want to have probiotics. And you want to have digestive enzyme capsules. You can get those from almost any drug store or health food store. You also want to use them. Uh, a good thing is uh, adaptogenic herbs as well as L-glutamine. So those are some of the things that will help you with leaky gut. Now, let's go back over what we just uh, talked about. To refresh, if you have chronic constipation, that's a sign that you may have leaky gut, but one of the major signs. If you constantly have um, acid reflux, it's another sign that you may have leaky gut. A lot of times we go and buy uh, pep, pep, peptobismol, peptobismol, I'm sorry, pep, peptobismol, or we buy some other over-the-counter aid for acid reflex, or we buy an over-the-counter over-the-counter aid for for gas, and we buy an over-the-counter aid for for when we're constipated. All of those items can cause inflammation.
they can be damaging into your small intestine. So you have to be very careful what you um, use. Because a lot of the stuff you use causes more problems than it does good. So chronic constipation is a sign of leaky gut. Leaky gut occurs when the small intestine gets damaged. When you have damage to your small intestine, you have leaky gut. And that, just, that can lead to a nutrient deficiency. In another video on this channel, we talked about micronutrients and the need for to have the proper nutrients. So if you got leaky gut, then you're kind of defeating the purpose because you eat food that is good for you, has good, good nutrients, but then you lose the nutrients because of the problem with leaky gut. Now, leaky gut affects the whole body. It causes problems all over, so it affects the whole body. We talk about the five steps to um, helping you with um, leaky gut. First step, go to a nutritionist, go to a doctor, go to a nurse, go to a health professional and have them do a test to see what type of leaky gut do you have. First of all, do you have leaky gut? Then what type? There are many types of leaky gut. Then the second thing is to remove the inflammation. Nourish the gut lining with nutrients. Treat specific organs with supplements and then rebound the microbes and the probiotics. And we deal with that over in the session where we talk about the supplements for leaky gut. Then we want to look at So, nourishing the organs. There are certain foods that nourish your organs or that will help you with your gut. And we talked about it, but we want to go over it one more time. And those foods are bone broth, which is a chicken broth or beef broth, coconut oil, sauerkraut, goat's milk, kefir, and most kefir is good for leaky gut. Blueberries is a fruit that's very good for leaky gut. And squash is a vegetable, very good for leaky gut. From the supplement for leaky gut. One, one more time. Probiotic, good bacteria you need probiotics so if you have the gut think you have the gut go to the store buy you some probiotics you can buy them in tablet form or you can you can buy it buy it in liquid form kefir is a good source of probiotics then you need digestive enzymes we recommend two capsules but I'm not a physician, so check, check with your doctor to make sure. But most people suggest two tablets daily, or two capsules daily. Then there's adaptogenic herbs and l glutamine. So those are some of the things that supplements that will help you avoid ligand gut, also will help help you if you have leaky gut already. So last but not least, the triggers. I want to go over those one more time. One of the main triggers is eating genetically modified food. That will trigger or that will start the leaky gut problem. Antibiotics that doctors give you can also cause leaky gut. Gluten can cause leaky gut. And many people have gluten problems don't even realize they have gluten problems. So 
when you see your health professional, have them test you for gluten sensitivity. Also, processed sugar. We should try to avoid processed sugar at all times, if possible. There are many alternatives to processed sugar. Honey, raw honey is one. There are many others. Also, dairy. Dairy can cause you to have leaky gut if the milk that you are drinking comes from cows that are not grass fed. So you, if you're going to drink milk, try to get milk from grass fed cows. Organic milk or highly processed milk. You can read the label on most milk and tell you whether or not the cows are grass fed and also tell you whether the cows have been exposed to uh, hormones, etc. And number six, one of the main causes or one of the main things that will trigger leaky gut is food sensitivities. And you, and you, you need to know if you're sensitive to certain foods, go to your health professional, have them run a test to see what foods that you're sensitive to. So that's basically what we want to talk to you today, talk to you today about. That's all I have. Your health is very important. The food that you put in your body is extremely important. Without the proper nutrients, there's no way your body can perform at, a, at an optimal level. So you want your body to perform at an optimal level at every age. No matter how young you are, no matter how old you are, your food determines your health. So we want to eat to live, not live to eat. So with that, I want to thank you for tuning in for this video. Hope that you will like this video. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel. Hope you'll share the video. And see you next video. Peace.